Captain Matt, Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon. I wanted to talk about invasive species. So they're aquatic hitchhikers. When you're at the boat ramp, you can see I'm at the ramp right now in um, the Carolinas. One of the things, well, there's four things actually that you need to do to help eliminate, stop the spread of invasive species of those things that go from one body of water to another where they haven't been before, the hydrilla, uh, zebra mussels, um, Slovenia, a uh, crested floating heart. They're these, these invasive species that have started to spread throughout the waterways um, of the US. And a reason they spread is because you fill up your uh, live wells with the water that you're in. You fill up your ballast tanks with the water that you're in. You're, you just, you're swimming and that water goes down in the hole when you pull your boat out, it's very, very important to drain all of those systems first, to get all the water out of all of those systems, including pulling your drain plug out before you leave the ramp area. Clean all the equipment. That means, you know, look at your trailer. Did you pick something up on the trailer that you need to pull off before you head out and maybe go to your next boat landing? Um, drain everything from everywhere, including the equipment, anything that's got water in it dry it allow everything to fully dry out before you go into your next body of water if you're a fisherman going from one spot to the next in the same day if you are a wake surfer and you've got found you know your buddies are at one lake one day and the next day you're at another one make sure everything's completely dry and never ever ever take a fish plants any organisms from one body of water to another because what can happen is it can proliferate proliferate whatever that word is, it can extend that spread and um, it, it's not good. It's something that uh, is becoming a problem in a lot of waterways. You can see this sign here, um, stop aquatic hitchhikers. So it's important to know, it's important to be aware of if you have anything that you fill up, ballast tanks, live wells, fish boxes, even your bilge, uh, you know, make sure that's getting drained out at the body of water that you're in. I prefer go ahead and just do it at the boat ramp do it all when you're getting your your boat loaded up pump all those pumps out get everything empty start drying everything before you move on and you can be part of the solution to the uh, invasive species problem thanks for listening